Hey guys, Paul here from Make That Sea Change and welcome back. Today we're going to look at 10 photography affiliate programs to snap up in 2020. Photography is another very, very popular niche online. This one that is falls within the hobby niche, meaning that people will spend money on it. And it's something that because there's smaller, things are smaller and it's very um, specification driven as in what size a lens is, what size a camera is. It's not something that people need to look and feel generally before they purchase. So as affiliate marketers, that makes it a quite a great little niche to get involved in. And as I mentioned a second ago, a hobby niche is one that people will spend money on online. So let's have a look at the 10 programs I've found. Before we start, however, obviously there's a lot to photography. So the 10 programs I've found are just trying to give you a cross section of what's out there, but let's have a look and see what we can find. Okay, so my 10 photography affiliate programs, as I mentioned, there's quite a few out there that you can choose from. So I've gone through and tried to find a good cross section of what's there. At the bottom, I will show you how to find your own if that's something that you are looking for. Obviously, if none of these programs meet your exact niche or exactly what you're trying to achieve with your affiliate marketing program. But the 10 I've found, I find what they offer, commission rates, payment terms, cookie duration, application processes, and the materials that they provide. So let's talk about photography. So again, I mentioned a second ago, there's quite a bit to it. What I've tried to give you, again, is a good cross section of what's out there. So let's have a look at general equipment, accessories, processing, editing, software, photos, online courses, and so on. There's plenty there that you can look at and plenty that you can choose from, even if you don't choose any of the here. So let's have a look. What can we promote with this? I think the thing to be aware of is that there's two or three different types of photographers out there. There's the budget conscious or the ones who just want to take a little click. There's the, the hardcore photographers, the travelers, you know, bloggers, etc., that need a good camera. And then there's the professionals. So make sure that whatever, whatever affiliate programs you choose match your audience. So you'll have an audience in mind that you're looking to run with. If you haven't, thought about this in much more detail have a look for my my site called how to my post how to sell photography online or how to make money with photography online i think it is that will take you through it in a lot more detail it talks you through how to find your niche what problems you're solving who your target audience is and the options you have to sell photos and photography here obviously we're talking about taking that strand into affiliate marketing and you need to make sure that affiliate programs you choose match your audience and your niche. As I mentioned a second ago, hardcore photographers and professionals won't take risks if they don't trust your program. So make sure you're not choosing some, you know, dodgy backyard program, make, especially if you're dealing with professionals because they're not going to buy a camera if they if, it, if it, there's any risk. And those purchasing for new hobby families, well, they want to know what they're getting. So making sure that the products you promote fit within those sort of requirements, if that's the niche you're targeting. Obviously, if you're targeting professionals, you're not going to try them, try them and sell them the point and shoot Canon $100 camera. So you're not going to choose those affiliate programs for them on the other side of it. So just think about it. As I say, people will choose photo, spend money on those sort of, that sort of equipment online. Okay, let's run through my 10. The first few I've start, I've chosen are as with Sammy's camera all encompassing photography and camera based sites. Sammy's camera is a really big one. Cameras, lenses, memory and storage, bags and other apparel, video cameras, studio and lighting. I will say that, and I mentioned this above, that I've, I've, I've kept this to more the still camera type setup, and not so much video cameras, because that's a whole different niche and, and area. So for this point, I'm just looking purely at still photography. Okay, so Sammy's camera, as I mentioned, all aspects of photography and videography I've, I've written here, even though I just said it's not really. They have drones um, and they have all sorts of other um, equipment as well. They managed through Sarasar, 4% 30 days. Percentages in camera, in the camera niche are a lot less than some others for some reason. They're all around the four to 5%, not much. There's some courses and the like down further that are higher percentages, but if you're looking at camera equipment, they all seem to be quite low. It, I guess that just goes back to the to the profit margin they're working with. Okay, focus camera, another big one. 
as you can see there, photo and video, scopes and optics, audio, electronics, computers, trade and use. So they have used cameras as well. Uh, cameras, lenses, video equipment, accessories and lighting and studio. A good range, again, one that you could use to build an entire site around. 3%, 30 days, and then they manage theirs internally. Okay, B&H. B&H, another um, very large site, has everything to do with, with cameras and, and the like. Photography, they have all the electronics. All the big camera sites do have that, and I think that's to make sure that you can incorporate a, an all-in-one type set up so you can get your camera you can get your you know your pre and post shot shoot type information there in one hit uh, they also have surveillance they also have drones drone cameras is a very big market these days so again everything you can put on to any sort of niche from there they had two to eight percent i couldn't find their cookie duration and they are internal, but they, they're a bit stronger. You must have a multi-page website, no break links, fully functioning website, and content relevant, content relevant. I do mention in some of my other things that, you know, if you want to, this would be a good one to add to a travel niche or something like that. If you're in a travel niche, it probably needs to be travel photography to allow to be coming into that one. Okay, let's go to KEH. KEH is another all-encompassing camera and photography equipment site except they deal with um, second-hand gear. You can buy and sell your second-hand camera gear on here. They have the full range. And I suppose it's a good one if you're looking at, at those looking to get in or those looking to transition from a basic point-and-shoot camera into the, you know, the higher-end digital SLRs and things like that. They have a lot of stuff on there that is it's a little better in quality, but not as expensive as paying for retail. So there's another option for you, especially if you're looking at those looking to start in their, their hobbies or whatever. 4%, 15 days, they're also through share a sale. So I think Sammy's will share a sale as well. So you could add both. You could have your brand new stuff with Sammy's and your secondhand stuff with KEH in one site. Kelby One, let's go away from the equipment into training. So Kelby One is all about how to use your camera, how to take shots. Um, I've sort of kept this light, but camera use, different types of photography, shooting animal sports, landscapes, and so on and so on and so on. Video, video editing software, retouching, shading, so on. So there are courses on all those sort of things. Not, they don't sell the software, they don't sell the cameras, but they will teach you how to do all of that. You can see your shots here and what they're doing. Again, as I, and as I mentioned a second ago, once you step out of the camera equipment in photography, there's some better commissions, 50% on annual products, 15 and 50% on monthly products. So if they purchase their, their course monthly, you get 50% on monthly products. I'm not sure, I couldn't find anywhere whether that was recurring or not, so it might be worth checking that out. Uh, they're through Recuten. Okay. If you need help setting up your own photography business and you're not sure where to go, I would strongly recommend clicking on this little red and green button here. It takes you into Wealthy Affiliate. No credit card required. You get one free hosted website. You get two phases of training, which by the end of it, you will have your own website working. Where It's a subdomain website, but it will be up and working. You've got nothing to lose. Click on here. And I guarantee you that you will have all the training you need for free to set up your own website. There is a premium membership in there, which gives you your own customized domains and hours and hours of more training. But to get started and check it out, click on this button. Okay, let's continue. Digital Photography School, as the name suggests, is a training program for photographers. Their specialty, even though they've got a normal camera there, their specialty is smartphones. So if you want to use work out how to use a camera on a smartphone, which let's face it, some of the cameras on the smartphones are better than the, than the, than the still and video cameras that you buy these days anyway. However, people still need to know how to use it. So these, you know, fixing these shots up taken on a smartphone. And the beauty of this one is they are recurring commissions. So you earn 40%. 
40% on the commission for everything they spend. So that means if I sign up to this course and I pay my tuition fees, you can see they got, they'll have um, courses. If you sign up those courses and you pay every month, your person pays every month, you get a commission every month, which is oh, six, you know, $66 per annum or $8 per month, $80 commission, not bad. Um, 365 day cookie on that one as well. And they, manage it themselves. Zenfolio is, if you're in the niche where you're looking to help people who help photographers monetize their, you know, sell their photos, then maybe push them towards Zenfolio. Zenfolio is an e-commerce platform, basically design e-commerce platforms for those you want to, uh, you know, have, aren't sure of that. eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Shopify are all what we call marketplace platforms. Zenfolio is a marketplace platform purely for photography. You can get your own domain name, access to blogs, your website, pre-order capabilities, e-commerce capabilities to which in which sell your photography, green screen editors, and there's advanced options. You know, if you if you specialize with dances and weddings and stuff like that, they have some special stuff in there for that as well. Um, aim at professionals, hobbyists, or those looking to monetize their passion, as I said. 30% they're a subscription based, but, and this is the difference between some subscription based models. These guys only pay subscription on your first, only pay a commission, sorry, on the first say on not the ongoing subscription. They're through partner eyes and GoPro. Now, as I've written here, GoPro, they're probably more the video camera than the still camera. They do take still shots, which is why I let myself put it in here. But to be honest, they're such a popular site. They have basically revolutionized the, the whole, they revolutionized the whole fast action, get down and dirty action, live camera market. <laughs> I can't think of what it run out of words to say then. Um, so yeah, so GoPro, everyone knows about GoPro. They have 5%, not so they're run through CJ affiliates. I would add this to any, any, if I was on any, a photography affiliate marketing site, I would add GoPro as a little side hustle. They're more expensive, which gives it a high ticket. Just add it. Okay, Langley, let's go into camera bags. Langley is a little site that has camera bag straps, holders. Um, what do they say here? Live live to enhance the lives of freelance photographers and nomadic professionals looking for something to protect their gear with style and ease. They also have jackets, that's one of the jackets there. So yeah, so if you're someone who's out and about with your camera all the time, especially if you've got bigger equipment, not a GoPro, bigger equipment, you might want to look at Langley's 10%, 30 days, and they're through a version. And finally, we come to Snapper. I had Adobe on here, and Adobe Photoshop is obviously one that's very well known, and it has an affiliate program as well. But I decided to go with Snapper just to show you something different that's, that's out there. They're a graphic design tool, so you bring your photographs into Snapper. You can add it to pictures, posts, postcards, face, uh, Facebook, social media, and the like, all within there. They've got a whole lot of training. And I added here because there is a recurring commission, 30%. So every month this person that your referrals are using Snapper, you get a 30% commission. That's another reason why I added them over there and over the top of Photoshop. Okay, that's my 10 photograph photography affiliate programs. If you're looking for something else, or if you're just starting out, maybe try Amazon. These are real life Amazon affiliate links. So if you click on those, you'll see what they do. If you purchase, I make a commission, but that's not why they're there. They're just to show you how it looks. So you can write all about your photography and hook into Amazon because Amazon will let you. So I've got Canon there, I've got Nikon, I've got one of their Amazon brand tripods pretty good for a tripod. Um, yeah. So think about that as well. Now I mentioned earlier that there is a whole lot of programs for photography. If none of the ones that I've mentioned here meet your own needs, then I would suggest you go into your search engine, type in affiliate photography. You can see here, uh, stuck in customs, creative live, um, Pixpa, smug mug photography, affiliate program, these talk about their programs. So I'm not sure what all these exactly what all these do, but I'm just, as you can see, I haven't listed any of these four above and there's so many more there 
that you can choose from. So if you can't find what you're looking for, maybe try and here. You could type affiliate photography, you could type affiliate cameras, affiliate video, affiliate tripods, affiliate camera cases, whatever, and it will give you some slightly different options. So if you are looking for a affiliate program that doesn't match up the top, this is the best way to find them. There's hundreds out there. Okay, just make sure when you do see those programs and you apply, I mentioned above in all the programs what they look for, but just keep that in mind because if you don't do a proper um, application, a lot of them will reject you because they want to know you're serious. Okay, guys, thanks for that. That's my 10 photography affiliate programs. Hope that was helpful for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel below. If you're watching this within the post, if you have any questions, if you need any assistance, any help, don't be afraid to comment below. Click on the links to Wealthy Affiliate if you need help setting up your website. You'll get a free website up and running, no credit card required, and I'll be there and I'll help you with any questions. Comment below, click on Wealthy Affiliate, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.